What's up, Phantoms? It's me, Mr. Dark Knight. I'm Bash of Bash and Brains. And today, we're doing a reaction to Seri Composition V87. Um, we're going to do something different this time. Um, we're going to watch the video, then pause it, yeah. and then react to it. Yep. Um, we just want to learn. Like I said, we're learning. We're still learning it. Yeah. But um, we wanted to try this one out because me and Bash have seen this YouTube channel before. And we want to see if you guys like these kind of videos, let us know. Back the videos, comment down below, let us know what kind of videos you want us to react to. But just get ready to go. Yeah, and check out Bizarre Bub, y'all selves also, man. Yeah, go check them out. Following video comes from a real estate agent who caught something pretty creepy while filming herself on camera. She was filming a video for clients who are interested in buying the house she's selling. She often does video tours of houses that clients have requested to see. In this case, a few clients had requested to see a property during the evening as they wanted to see how the interior lighting appears at night. So she arrives at night and starts her video tour with an introduction, but as she records, she captures this. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. Open this door. Go ahead, open this door. Open this door like you did the other one. Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. For her safety, the realtor bolts out of the house in a panic frenzy, 
something very strange, as she says, took place. Now, something else happens in this video that the realtor missed on the first viewing, and it happens somewhere in the beginning. On her second take, before the door opens, one of the portraits on the wall starts to change. And my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 19. If you look closely, you'll notice that the face in the picture begins to darken. But after a couple of seconds, it changes back. The realtor hadn't seen this when it happened, but if she had, she would have freaked out, as she says. Now, it's worth noting that she came to this house earlier that day and was already feeling creeped out during her time there. Join me on a tour of this charming three and a half... <laughs> Join me on a tour of this term. She was showcasing the property to a couple of clients when doors all of a sudden started opening on their own. It's unknown if she'll continue to sell the house, but if she does, viewers have commented that a substantial discount on the price would be necessary. Like most videos, there has yet to be an explanation for what happened. All right, let's talk about that. Wow. Well, first, wait, thought about that. I didn't so, thought about the picture until yeah, they brought it up. I was like, really, I wasn't paying attention. To I was that. too busy paying attention to the door, because when the door opened, I was like, oh, maybe that shadow's gonna come in or something. But I didn't expect about that picture. Did Did you feel like what is it? When the door opened, it looked like she was following whoever was walking in. Yeah. Because it looked like she could, she her eyes were like she moved off to the side, but yeah. it, I felt like she was doing this. Just following me. Yeah. yeah. She stayed quiet. And then um, when she came out, and I think the bathroom, you saw a shadow. I don't know it was her shower or it was someone else's shadow, but it, it moved. And then she kept going down the hallway because it's just, it's just how she's showing itself. At first, I thought she was like an actress or something. I thought she was like auditioning for something, but I was wrong. She's a Riz Terror. Makes sense. It's on TikTok and all that. Like, Interiors and our TikTok and everything. Everyone's on TikTok these days. Yeah. But I was like, she was bull, bro. She's very bull to go over there and say like, to hey, start show hey, me, show me what's wrong. Hey, move that glass. The glass didn't even move like when she was walking by. But like, I don't know where the beeping. That's what you heard. Like, ah. And then she. Uh, she started running to go see. And then the fire alarm falls. Yeah, the it fire was alarm. almost gonna hit her in the head. Yeah, and then she dipped after that. I was like, I was like, damn. That that caught me off guard because um, like I said, we're wearing Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. And I had this loud because, like I said, like I shouldn't have put it that loud. It, it hurt my ear. I was like, oh. But supposedly this happens with her every time she tries to sell this house, and it looks abandoned too. Like that's how like the outside looked like. like it didn't really get, like, the bushes didn't get cut, the trees that didn't get trimmed. I was like, if you're trying to sell a house, um, should you get everything prepared before you do something like that? And I guess TikTok and all was still, like, you're presenting a house. But that was crazy. I get, I get a lot of credit, bro. She reminded me of us when we always go, like, talk to them, like, oh, well, do something, go do something. Yeah. It reminded me of that. So, yeah, um, that was crazy. I like that. That was really cool. The, the alarm thing, I didn't expect. Until way later. <laughs> but yeah, um, just, um, what's your final thoughts about that? Dude, honestly, it's like, pretty creepy. And then not only that, the fact that she felt something earlier. Oh, I yeah. I was like, okay, what is it? Yeah, a little bit of haunting there. <laughs> oh, for real, bro. Yeah, no, I bet. But yeah, um, let's check on what's next. Let's go to next next video. Number seven. In the following video, a man is alone inside a house when something very strange is caught on camera. The man in this video is currently remodeling his home with the help of his friends, but according to them, they don't like this house, and for good reason. Ever since working on the property, they've been experiencing unusual occurrences. A common one is hearing faint whispers that resemble a child's voice. One night, the man is alone at home watching videos on his phone when a faint voice is heard speaking. He immediately starts to record to capture the whispers that his friends talk about. But as he films, he captures this.
No whispers are heard on camera, but a loud noise is heard instead. It turns out that a plate fell off the counter. The man reckoned that a rat had accidentally knocked it over. But only a few nights later, he uploads another video showing something that makes this incident quite concerning. Watch. I'm here, I'm here doing construction work at my house by myself and uh, my phone starts going off. I, I start getting these notifications that a person's been detected in my house. Six minutes ago, it says someone was here. Look. There's, there's nobody here. Uh, yeah, there's no one here. I don't, I don't understand. I noticed yesterday there was people detected too. And so I checked the cameras on yesterday's video. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. Here, check this out. Look, no one. And then watch. Watch. Watch this. Look. Oh. And then it just disappears. And then I check the second camera in the room. And check this out. Look. Yeah, it's there right there. The shadow right there. But there's no person. I don't know what to say. If no one was inside the room, then who or what was casting the silhouette? The notifications on the ring camera say that someone is there, but clearly no one is. Even the second camera, which is also in this room, shows that nothing is obstructing the light. If something had been in front of it, the shadow would have made sense. Now the video becomes creepier when looking at the shadow itself. Viewers noted that the figure has a crooked neck. The way it's bent, according to them, is similar to that of someone who took their own life using a rope. Not knowing what else to think, the property owner has been feeling uneasy. He has yet to explain this, but given what occurred in the video before, he can't help but think that something unexplainable is going on. Just what exactly was caught on camera? Crazy. The shadow? That was pretty good. Bro, there's no one there. Yeah, there's literally no one there. That's a lot more better, was it? Because, was it? Is that he has camera mon monitoring and saying that there's somebody in the house and there's nobody. All you see is shadow. Yeah. That's pretty good. And he was in the other room. He wasn't standing there. Yeah, no, he wasn't there at all. Damn, bro, and then it gets really dark because, like, the way the shadow looks, it looks like someone's, like, you know, hanging right there. And yeah, I didn't think of that. Creepy. I thought somebody was just standing no, there. No, that, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. And then too. when when and the when the bizarre boat was talking about all oh, the crooked neck like this, I was yeah. like, oh, okay. I was like, and then when I really saw it, I was like, oh crap. Yeah. Uh, was side like, of the incident. Bro, like, I think that's the first time I ever saw something like that. Like, normally you see, like, shadows or, like, fragments or, like, little dust and stuff like that. But that's, like, the first time I ever saw, like, a fully blackout shadow on the floor. Body shape of everything. And it's crazy. And a different shape, too. It's not the guy because the guy has long hair. And I think, like, his posture is more bigger. So, it's, like, it's crazy. So, yeah, you can't fake that. Especially because how... The shadow was standing at, and how it disappears slowly. Yeah, the, the, that, if that was like, creepy. That I, was really was creepy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pay. I was like, well, I should have paid more attention to when it was fading. I was like, oh, I, I didn't realize. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't realize it faded. Yeah, yeah. Until it, till he said it that it was fading. All right, all right. There, there's an ad. Now the following video was taken back in 2016, and it seems that not many people have seen this footage, but despite not having many views, the video is still pretty creepy. The person recording this is known as Leon, and it was just then that something very strange happened with his wardrobe. Leon records this video, hoping that it happens again. <laughs> Oh, 
Leon waits patiently, yet nothing happens. He swears that only a couple minutes ago, the cupboard was moving on its own. But unfortunately, as he records, nothing unusual occurs. That is, until Leon shows the inside of his wardrobe. Take a look. Voy a... Voy a abrir el... El rapero. Now there's a reason as to why there's a clown doll in the closet. Leon says it's because of an incident that occurred a few nights ago. He doesn't exactly say what happened, but ever since then, he's put it in the closet to prevent whatever happened. Now getting rid of it would be a better idea, as he says, but it's a pricey heirloom that his family values, so trashing it is out of the question. However, as Leon continues to record, something happens that prompts him to get rid of it. Watch. Acá el ropero donde mi mamá guarda es este. Feeling doubtful that something would happen, Leon captures this. The wardrobe begins to shake vigorously. Like someone trapped inside, the dresser rocks back and forth as though whoever or whatever is inside is struggling to escape. But as we just saw, nothing is found to explain the movement. Leon even shows the space around to show that no one is behind. Como pueden ver acá, eh, el ropero está pegado a la pared. No sé si se puede, no hay nadie como para que, que haga alguna. As with all videos, this one is pretty strange. But let me know your thoughts on the footage. Just what exactly was causing the wardrobe's movement? Damn, that's crazy. It reminds me of the Conjuring. Yeah. The Conjuring, the first one with the, remember when they were playing um, their way up, I think like hide and seek or something. Yeah. You had to do the clapping. I was waiting for hands to come out and start clapping. <laughs> Bro, say. when he opened that door, I didn't expect the little clown glass. It's like a it's like a legit glass, um, type of doll. Yeah, and it. Bro, it's just chilling there, dude. It's it, just chilling. I, I <laughs> could see how old it. You could see how old it is, and not only that, it's like, what sucks is like, he's expected to hold on to it. Yeah. Even though obviously it's possessed. I like how the mom's so chill about it. Yeah, that's, that's like right. It was kind of weird how the mom was yeah. just chill about. She's like, "Oh, yeah, you're getting yeah, mad." He, he gets bad whatever he does. I'm like, "What the hell?" I was like, like oh, "This is not an everyday thing." Uh, like, I don't think you should be be saying stuff like that. I was like, "That's not a normal thing to be doing." It's like, no, it's like that thing is hard. Like, hey, just, I mean, I know it's a pre priceless heirloom. Yeah, your family's expect like expecting you. Okay. Can another family member take it off his hands if he doesn't want that happening anymore? For real, dude. That's crazy. Like somebody who doesn't live in that house, like, hey, do you want my bitch? Hey, you never know. Maybe the other family members, no, 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 no. You, you, you yeah. were the one that was supposed to watch it. It's all you. It's all that's you. That's crazy, You bro. pass it on to whoever's the next person. Not me. Yeah. I'm like, that kind of sucks. For real, bro. I was like, I was like, not nah, um, bro. I was like, I remember my grandma has like those kind of dolls. So you, yeah, the person in dolls but she going away because of the kids. But I was like, every time, bro, every time I used to walk out in the living room to go get water or something, I always see them and always, always think they're like staring at me. Mm -hmm. And then just seeing that right now, it just freaked me out because I was like, this, it just brought me back how I used to be. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm like, no, uh, bro. I was like, for real, dude. I was like, the mom's all chill about it. He's all freaking out, dude. He's like, he's like, yeah, no one can fit back here. Look, I was like, whoa. No shit, sure. I was like, you don't get fit. It's up against the wall. It's up against the wall. I was like, dude, what do you mean? And then he was like, let me open the drawers to show you guys no one's under that. I was like, dude, I was like, bro, who's gonna fit in those drawers, bro? Who's gonna fit in there? I don't know. <laughs> maybe some, maybe some people are believing that there's a like, trap door in the back yeah. of it. You can get from it through the back. No, I was just sitting in but the shoe, like, shoe box. Yeah. Everything. And then when he opens the other door, there's nothing there, just jeans. Yeah. And that's it. And then he brings it out. He's like, look, this is what it looks like. And I'm like, oh, man. It's just in the shoebox. box. just chilling, bro. It's all like. He almost dropped it. You realize that? Yeah, thing? I almost fell. I he was, was like, holding it like this. Yeah. I was like. Oh, man. I don't think you should break that in the house. I was like, then that'd be worse, bro. Then that spare is going to be everywhere. Yeah. It looks like it's just contained to one little doll. Yeah. But, all right. All right. Number five. Let's get it. It's around 5 p.m. when a mother and daughter watch TV in the living room. Having the house all to themselves, they thought it'd be a good idea to watch some cartoons, as earlier they were feeling a bit spooked. For some reason, Nadine Beckett and her daughter Blake couldn't help but feel uneasy. They continue to watch TV when suddenly, things take a very creepy turn. Blakey, yeah, you okay? I don't even do, or say to I love you. do you want me to go open the door? Why? What? No? Okay. Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door Wait. because she kept pointing Wait. to my room saying, Wait. Mommy, Mommy, Wait. someone's over there. Yes, and and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified. Of course, freaking me out. So... I went over there and she just said, no, mommy, come here, come here, mommy, sit, sit, mommy, don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed my door. And as you can see, dude, she's still terrified. As Nadine says, her daughter claims to have seen someone standing at the door. It isn't often the case that her daughter gets this scared unless someone or something was causing her to feel this way. But Nadine had no idea why she was so frightened as nothing was there when she pointed at the door. The space was entirely empty. Nadine further adds that prior to this video, she had taken the following footage. Watching it again, she believes it might have some connection to this incident. Once again, Nadine begs the question, what exactly was being seen? Neither her dog nor her daughter appear to see anything, which understandably was disconcerting. But her sense of uneasiness becomes intense after deciding to investigate the space where her daughter had seen the figure. Watch. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. It's okay. I'll be right back. Your face. Tell me I'm not... Like before, nothing is there. Feeling twice as scared now, Nadine uploads the video and the footage before in the hopes of getting an answer for this creepy situation. If nothing had been around, then what exactly was causing her dog and her child to be on edge? As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. That one has a lot of proof right there. For real. So, I mean, you all hear it. You all see it. Paranormal activity movies. You see it now. Per guys. Children. Movies. Animals. Children. Mostly children and animals can see things that we can't see. And that daughter was like freaking out too. But then she was crying. 
um, shaking. She was hiding her face. Like, legit, like, terrified. The dog was, like, grinding, like, nothing. Yeah. It, it reminded me of paranormal activities, bro. It's like, you know how the dog would, like, bark at something and there's nothing there? Yeah, be growing at nothing. Or, like, the kid would be talking to someone on the table. It might be a dad. Like, that was creepy, bro. But, like, she can't see anything. She And it's in her room. Not, like, in the kid's room. Not, not like, anywhere else. It's in her room. And the daughter's, like, freaking out, bro. Like, she's, like, shaking and... And crying, bro. Like, she had to go back. I don't blame her, bro. I don't blame her. That If I was that mother, I'd be freaking out, too, bro. I was like, I'd be throwing out Bibles and everything, bro. The stage and everything, dude. That's crazy. What do you thought about that? What do you, what do you think about that? Yeah, like, what is it, dude? Like, what is it? There's just a lot of proof right there. Like, especially the kid freaking out. I think the dog one proved me more because the dog was barking at nothing. It was growling, bro. Yeah, it was growling. Yeah, it was growling. It was, like, grinding nothing. Every... Yeah, it was, that was ugly, bro. Alright, next one. Yeah, let's go, bro. It's getting crazy. These videos are getting more intense, intense, bro. I like that. I like those kind of videos. I like the intense. In this next video, a woman immediately starts to record her dog after seeing them perform a trick. As the video continues, it appears that nothing peculiar stands out in the footage, or at least it seems like that. While initially not much happens in the beginning, it's what happens later that makes this video quite strange. Now it's worth mentioning that the footage was submitted to me with a bit of info. The woman who took this video was alone at home with her two dogs, both of which have been helping her grieve. Only a month ago, one of her dogs had passed away. This loss was so painful considering how close she was to Sadie, a dog who she says felt very much like her own child. But this grieving process was suddenly put on hold after noticing something odd in this video. It was during this recording that she captured this. Out of nowhere, something appears in the background. It's there momentarily before vanishing from sight, yet it seemingly appears when the woman calls out to her other dog. This specific detail is important, as it's led the woman to believe that the so-called unusual figure was not something random, but rather her dog Sadie. Perhaps the supposed spirit of Sadie had thought her owner was calling her over, Although initially baffled by this footage, she writes that it now serves as a source of reassurance that Sadie is still with her like she has always hoped. But as always, you be the judge on what was captured here. It's crazy. <laughs> so, um, so when she went, was it she called the dog? Was it she went? She called the other dog. She called the other dog, um, the spirit of Sadie, the other dog that she had. The one that died. Yeah, that passed away. You could see in the floor, the shiny floor, just passed by and yeah. disappear. That's um, basically like a poltergeist. Yeah. When um the energy of the room or the area, especially because that dog's been there for a long time. Yeah. Of course, it's going to happen like that. And normally, um, people start freaking out about it, especially people who are really into the paranormal get that a lot because especially animals animals have a lot of energy so when she called it that's when the dog ran like the visible like the spirit ran and that's crazy i've seen that before i think we've seen that a bunch of times when we react to videos like these yeah and it's mostly mostly it's pets um humans as well um happen to bashes um father-in-law yeah and the cat and the cat as well. Yeah. So. Not gonna hit that subject, but eh, it's a real, real thing. For people, guys, these are actually real things. Especially the place that they're normally at. Like yeah. the number one thing they're at. So yeah, it's like, it gets, gets really um, sentimental yeah. when an energy like that can happen. Yeah. So that's crazy to me. That I'm not really surprised about that. We, we, I heard stories I've seen 
we've both seen things seen yeah. things like that before so to me that's really sad and and uh, that's crazy that's really crazy so i wasn't really I was, was really surprised about it that. It was really good. Like, that was a good footage of catching a dog, I gotta admit. Oh, that was yeah. pretty good. That was really good. You can't really fake that, to be honest with you. You can't really fake something like that. I don't know how you can even do that. <laughs> no, it was like, well, now we're about to hit number three, and these videos are getting better. Yeah, it's, better. Get, it's, getting, it's getting there. It's literally legit getting there now. Now the following video was posted by a mother who's concerned for the safety of her daughter. It was just recently that something highly unusual was caught on camera. This recording was taken inside her bedroom where other strange occurrences have happened. A common occurrence is her daughter looking scared at a specific spot inside her room. The mother states that it's almost as though something is there. Whatever it might be, it's causing her to feel extremely unsettled. One time, she came bolting into her mother's room after claiming to have heard a woman scream. The mother was baffled as she didn't hear anything when it happened, but when looking at the footage of when it took place, she saw this. No. Oh, dude. A scream all of a sudden is heard on camera. The shriek had seemingly come out of nowhere. Her daughter, in absolute fear, runs out as fast as possible. Now while it could be that someone hacked the camera, the mother doesn't think so. Given her daughter's strange behavior from before and other odd occurrences, she thinks that something supernatural occurred. But as always, what are your thoughts on this? Is this evidence of something paranormal? Or is it something else? If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, Guggles. you can send them- Guggles. <laughs> That's really good, I like that. That's funny, you got ghosts. <laughs> so, bro, that's, that's crazy. I feel for the little girl. Bro, bro she, she freaked out like yeah. badly, bro. You can't fake that, dude. Dude, bro, like if I heard that if I was her age, bro, I would not sleep in that room, bro. I wouldn't even set foot in that room, to be honest with you. Like, bro, she was just chilling there, just like standing there, and then she hears that scream. Bro, if I heard that, I'd be freaking out, especially at her age. I, she's probably like two or three, somewhere around there. It looks like she's around two or three. Or bro, like her face, bro. I looked at it, she just. Oh, bro, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Look at she pooped her pants for a moment. Oh, man. Yeah, her being that small, yeah. She I'm would. sorry. I'm not. And like... it's real, it's true. It's yeah. like when you're that the kid that small, like I wouldn't doubt it. I feel so bad for the little girl, man. I did too. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of it, but. No, no, But the way mean. she looked, I was like, bro, yeah. I'll, be, bro I'll be pooping my pants too if I heard that. <laughs> But, oh man, the fact that... It's, I guess it was in the morning. Yeah. But she, I was like, let's let's hope that it was... I mean, I don't hope that it was a camera hack, because that's even... That's scary. That's even worse. That's even worse. I mean, somebody is... Because you know, that, that does happen. That does happen a lot with the camera hacks, but, like... Oh, no. Oh, but, no but, oh, but the mom did say that the she was acting strange before already. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, I guess... That was pretty good. That was a pretty good video. It was scary for the little girl. Ah, oh, man, when it's with kids, it's scarier. For real, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's number two. This is getting intense already. It's late at night when a group of friends record footage inside a house that they're deeply afraid of. The house in question belongs to the grandparents of one of the friends. His name is Alex Sample, and he believes that something unexplainable was encountered by him and his two friends. During the time of this recording, Alex's grandparents were on vacation, so no one else was home except them. But despite having each other as company, they couldn't help but feel scared. The house had a strange ambience. Now this feeling of unease only got worse because after a couple of hours, this happens. Okay, so oh. we heard something upstairs. Bro. <laughs> Go. Go. Where's the light? Alex? Bro, it's so cold up here. Mm -hmm. oh. No. What the f? 
Turn it off, bro. Alex, what the? Bruh. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Strangely, a musical carousel plays on its own. The three friends have no clue as to how the musical toy could have gone off by itself. The atmosphere of the place, combined with the feeling of unease they experienced beforehand, ultimately brought them to the conclusion that this was paranormal. But whether or not that's so, this video is still pretty creepy. If no one had touched the carousel, then how exactly did it start playing? Damn, bro. It reminds me of a horror film. Like, you're all by yourself. Good thing she had friends with her. But still, bro, it's like a horror film. Like, you open the door and it's all cold in the room. No one's in there. Yeah. It's pissed for that. It was like, not only that, heat rises. And for the upstairs to be cold, so it was warm downstairs and cold upstairs? Yeah. That's, that's reverse. What's creepy the most is all the kids' ways. Especially that doll in the chair, yeah, bro. Yeah, that one, that, that's what they were looking at right away. They were like, like, no. Oh, they are like, fuck. They are like, fuck that. They are like, yeah. no, no. No, they're like nah, forget that. I was like, that was pretty. That was pretty good. I was like, bro, they were hiding their fear, bro. They were laughing. Yeah. They were hiding their fear, like for real. Yeah, they were freaking out. It was all movie by itself, bro. It's all playing by itself. There's no one there to play it. So that's crazy, dude. When I was thinking about, it, I was like, I was like, damn, was this a horror film or what? I was like, what's up? What's going on? And I was like, damn, bro, I'm all creeping out. Man, <laughs> this is crazy, dude. This is getting pretty good. This is getting pretty good. These are really good videos. This is really good videos. That's that's crazy. That's wild. Yep. There's number one, our last one. Yep. On July 20 of 2023, a radio station in South America was airing a live broadcast that left many viewers feeling disturbed. The footage was broadcast online, so those who tuned in were totally creeped out. In the broadcast, Viewers were introduced to a special guest named Antonio Zamudio, who according to the host, is someone who's had a history of paranormal experiences. Antonio talks about these experiences, but when he talks about one instance involving a clown doll, the whole studio goes quiet. That's one Viewers could tell that the atmosphere in the room had changed. Everybody was feeling unsettled, and even more so when Antonio showed footage of the clown doll. In the video, Antonio shows a close-up of the clown, which he says was given to him by a family who found it at a garage sale. But after they took it home, things got very strange. They decided to give it to Antonio, given his experience with the paranormal. But one night, after setting up static cameras to record the doll in case anything strange happens, he captures this. Oh! Somehow, the doll moves on its own. Looking closely, it appears to move by itself at an upright position before running across the room. Understandably, Antonio was just as baffled as he was terrified. It made sense now as to why the family seemed utterly spooked about this doll. Something wasn't right with it. To this day, Antonio says that he keeps it locked up in a glass case, given what happened that night. It's unknown if anything strange has happened since then. But until any updates are given, the question remains. Just how exactly did the clown doll move on its own? Thanks for watching, and I hope you- Gotta stop there, gotta stop there. Oh my god, dude. Bro, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband, hide your cat, hide your dog. Throw some Bibles, throw some sage on there. Bro, bro, that literally moved all by itself, bro. Like, there's no strings, there's nothing, bro. And the way it moved, too, you can tell that no one moved it. Like, bro, like, it looked, you know what it looked like? It looked like those elf, elf on the shelves. Yeah. It looks like those elf on the shelves. You saw how long the legs were? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, like, it, okay, I gotta throw in this, because the face, mm -hmm. and the way it looked, Dark, Mr. Darklight, can we agree that it was, did it not look like Dr. Roxo from Metalocalypse? That's what I was gonna say. It looks like Dr. And Roxo. Really straight up looked like that, bro. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I was like, bro, when it ran, I was like, bro, I was like freaking out, dude. I was, I was like, no, -uh, dude, I would not keep it in the house. I, it, I would not keep it in a glass thing. I would like get, I would get trunk. I would get some locks. 
lock that shit up, go dig it, go dig it far away, dig it far from my house, bro. That's crazy. I don't know about you, bro, but uh, dogs freak me out. Like, yeah, dogs really do freak me. <laughs> for ending the for the uh, for ending of the video, Mr. Dark Light, which one out of all eight videos, which is your favorite? Damn. Damn, that's hard because I like all of them. I like the doll. The doll one. The doll. That they number one. That was one of my favorite ones. The that creeped me out. The screaming ghost in the little girl's room. That one was. Oh, that, yeah, one was that, that one was pretty scary. That one, yeah, that one's scary. I don't know about you, but dolls. Be- between that one and the dolls creep me out, especially like, especially like like old raggedy freaking clown dolls. Like, I'm not scared of clowns. I'm not, but I'm like, but is it old timey and all that? Like glass. It looks or, like it's haunted. Like look at like yeah, look like you can like use like some some um, rit- rituals in there and, and shit like that, bro. It's like it's crazy, bro. I don't know what me. I I grew up with creepy dolls like that because my. Grandma likes to collect a lot of those glass dolls and stuff like that. Even when I'm staring at them, they look better looking at me. So yeah, that number one's probably my favorite. I know everyone's just like, oh, boy, boy. because I like it. It was freaking funny. And you can't make that up. You can't there you make up how he ran. It there you ran like how it normally looks like. The legit. The like for real. Oh yeah, for sure, bro, for sure. But that was crazy, dude. Guys, if you like these kind of videos, let us know in the comments down below. Please like the video. Um, let us know if you like this kind of context. Now we're pausing and we're talking, reacting to it. Um, it helps you guys hearing the videos and it helps us just chilling here, just figure out what we're, we want to talk about. And I think this probably will help more often. But let us know. Like the video. Please like the video. Leave, Please, no, go ahead. Leave us a subscribe. Yeah, leave us a subscribe. Please share the video.